Welcome back VidHeads to another tutorial video. This one is Premiere Pro Creative Cloud 2020 and we're talking about the opacity. This is VidHeads. Yes, if you guys have not been around this channel long, this channel is all about taking our skill to the next level. Iron sharpens iron here at VidHeads. So if you have not already, go ahead and hit subscribe because I don't want you guys to miss anything that might help you. So without further ado, let's talk about the opacity feature in Premiere Pro Creative Cloud 2020. I use my opacity a lot for fading in and fading out clips. And here I'm going to show you how to fade in and how to fade out. Like I said in the last video, you have to select the video clip that you want to edit and then you'll see your editing features appear. So we're in our sequence here and then we click on the video file or the video clip that we want to edit and you see now we have access to our editing tools. So we want to go to opacity. So right at the beginning of opacity, what I want to do is I'm going to go right here and go zero because I want it to be zero visibility. And then I'm going to go in probably about one, about 10 frames. And then I want it to be a hundred percent visibility. All right. Let's see what that looks like when we play it back. See that we fade it in and basically if you want to fade out you do the exact same thing now you can make your fade in longer you can make it shorter it's really up to you and how you want to do your own creative style now let's go shift in by where your reader is actually on a clip and you hit shift in it'll go to the end of that clip so at the end I'm gonna say zero Then I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna hit the left key, arrow key. So I'm gonna take my reader per frame. By hitting your, your arrow key, you're able to move the reader per frame. So I'm gonna move it, let's say 25 frames. All right, 25 frames. And I'm gonna 100% right here. So, Let's play the, f the fade out. See, and so basically you're using the keyframes to change your opacity. How much percentage of the video clip can you see or is it fading based on the percentage? So that's what the opacity really is. I wanna show you another decent feature with opacity I thought was pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna bring in an image that I created in Photoshop all right, we're gonna bring our file down here. I'm gonna scale it down. Just a bit, and I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna do it this, this way in a second. So, I'm going to bring my position. over I'm gonna scale it up a little bit more just enough to see the letters and over a bit all right the one of the beautiful things about opacity you have the feature of the blend mode and with the blend mode one of the good features that I've learned about the blend mode is the screen so you go here to opacity and I got this clip, which is my, my JPEG that I have on top of my video selected. And I'm gonna hit the down arrow here and I'm gonna to go to screen. I'm gonna to to screen here. And when I hit screen, what that does is it takes everything that's black and it make it transparent. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna animate this clip across my video clip. So, in order to animate it going across, I'm gonna use the motion. So we use motion here, this is the start, 
So I want it to start here. And I want it to end here. So let me take it all the way to the end. Here. And then I have the keyframe already set. Okay. Let me go ahead and color this. Let me go ahead and color this clip real quick. Uh, Cause uh, I have it, I shot it in Z log. So it's kind of bothering me a little bit. So let me go ahead and color it. Okay, so we have color corrected it a little bit. So now let's, let's get back to it. So now since we've taken this clip and we've animated it to go in a position across, almost like a pan move across our video clip. And this is what it looks like. Check out, check out these comics. So that's one good thing about opacity. It has the blend mode. So you can get very creative with this. You'll see a lot of different things on some, um, some weddings where you see the words going across uh, the video clip and you can see parts of the video clip and make it look like it's inside the letters. Well, this is one of the ways that they can, it can be done. Well, that's it for this particular video, VidHeads. This is the Opacity and Premiere Pro Creative Cloud 2020. If it's something I did not cover you want to see, make sure you comment down below. We would love to try to get your suggestions into the videos. So again, I'm Aaron Jones. I'm your big brother. I got your back on this channel. Iron Sharpens Iron is really all about us taking our skill to the next level. So make sure you go out and you film something and kill it.